Uh, I think that there has been and will continue to be an abundance of caution to ensure that em members of Parliament are safe, that the staff, that the precinct is safe. So I feel satisfied that uh, everyone has, uh, has the right motives in terms of making sure that safety is paramount. So I, I feel confident. You know, we've offered some very uh, positive and I think realistic solutions to voting in person whereby safety can be respected. Uh, I, I think that uh, there's still a lot of a lot of kinks that would have to be worked out, and you know schools are resuming. There's a lot that's resuming. We have to be able to continue life in uh, in this COVID crisis and do it in a safe way. And I think that includes for parliamentarians. There are some very responsible ways to vote, whereby you don't have an excessive amount of MPs in the house. Uh, that is also better than I guess. There's one extreme of electronic voting where one vote that would normally take eight minutes might take an hour and a half, and we don't know who's actually counted. And another extreme, obviously, would have be too many people in the house, and I think there's a balance. We did a test yesterday, and it, there were a, a, a lot of hiccups, so there's, there's a lot of work to be done on that.